Marcelo's going to work to get two-on-one control on Lovato's right arm. Once he has sleeve and elbow control, this stops Lovato from being able to protect his right leg, and Marcelo is able to move into the inside space and form butterfly hooks on that leg. He then uses that to access a lever to Lovato's hip and perform a butterfly sweep. As Lovato makes an adjustment here, he ends up shifting his center of gravity over to his left leg. Now it's easy for his center of gravity to be shifted outside of his platform of base, and his right leg is acting like a lever. Marcelo's legs are both underneath are going to be kicking with an upwards direction of force, which is basically just going to cause a teeter-totter like motion and move him. As Lovato tries to post, he posts with dead toes, which doesn't put his leg in the correct position to oppose that force vector, and Marcelo completes the butterfly sweep. Once Lovato's on bottom, he keeps actively working to get collar control on Marcelo's gi. Watch how diligently Marcelo is working to constantly keep those grips off of his collar. He breaks it several times here. He cannot allow Lovato to control his posture with the gi or have the ability to manage the range by framing him out. As soon as the grip is made, Marcelo works to diligently break it. After several attempts, Lovato finally secures a grip on Marcelo's collar and is able to disrupt his base and threaten a Baron Bolo. As Marcelo defends, Lovato spins back through, threatening a triangle. So Lovato finally establishes a grip on Marcelo's collar that he's going to use to break Marcelo's posture and shift his base. This forces Marcelo to post with his right arm, which is shifting weight into his upper body, making his legs light. This is what allows Lovato to get his hips mobile and spin underneath, initiating this Baron Bolo. Right now, Marcelo is working to control Lovato's leg here, framing it out so that he's unable to hook underneath of Marcelo's leg, accessing it as a lever, and allowing him to try and do the back take. Now he's spinning back through and he's looking to attack a triangle, but Marcelo is already wise to this, so he's going double under with both his arms. So as Lovato spins through, there's no triangle choke. Marcelo immediately starts trying to set up a guard pass, but Lovato frames him out, and as he gets a grip on his collar, Marcelo decides to back away and break that grip first. One thing Marcelo is so good at, among many things, is his ability to manage the range. As soon as something starts going south for him, he's backing up, making a tactical retreat. Here Marcelo is going to set up one of the sickest butterfly sweeps. Very simple, but so well-timed. Controlling Lovato's right sleeve grip going to stop him from being able to post with his right arm. So jumps in. So he's controlling the right arm, stopping it from posting, kicking out the right leg, stopping him from posting. He's elevating him up and over the direction of that blue arrow. Lovato is unable to post to recompose his base. And Marcelo solidifies the sweep. Marcelo is staying heavy with direct rotational control, chest to chest connection. Lovato is working to disrupt Marcelo's alignment. Marcelo is looking to move towards north-south, but Lovato is framing him, blocking the hip. As Lovato starts working to get onto his right side, Marcelo is going to start turning to north-south and spinning behind to Lovato's back. As he does that, he has to give up a little bit of the upper body control on Lovato. Lovato is able to half Gramby out. So watch Lovato's left arm. It's blocked right now. As soon as Marcelo lifts his elbow to try and swing it over so that he can start forming a seat belt, Lovato is able to start mobilizing his hips, creates frames with his feet, drawing base from the mat to drive his butt and spine into Marcelo. He's also got a grip with his left hand on Marcelo's wrist. and Watch how he frames it out as he finishes this. Accessing Marcelo's arm as a lever, Marcelo was never able to get control of that right arm again to stop Lovato from being able to create mobility in his hips. Lovato immediately works to get that collar grip again, starts setting up Deep Dalahiva X. Marcelo diligently once again working to break those grips. As Marcelo's base is compromised right now from this Deep Dalahiva X, he has to be extra careful 
making sure that he keeps his arms available for posting to recompose his base. And there, Marcelo lowers his hips to lower his center of gravity to make himself more stable, as well as correct his posture. 